of all, I, I, I also don't have a time tunnel, but mm-hmm. if I could go back a year, you know, and what, to the time when it became clear this wasn't a three-day war, and if you had a president who came to the American people and said, you know, we've all been impressed by the valor of the Ukrainian people, looks like Putin has made a historic overreach. Mm-hmm. I am calling a summit of our major NATO allies to discuss how we win the war in Ukraine. And then you gather everybody together and you say the United States is willing to spend X, you know, pick $50 billion. And, you know, you all are going to match that. The EU is roughly the same size as the United States in terms of its economy. So what we put in, especially given that this is a European war, you guys are going to put in. And then we figure out how we deploy those funds over the next six months to allow the Ukrainians to win the war and end this, end the loss of life, end the destruction. So that didn't happen a year ago. Right. What you know? What could you do now? I mean, the the glaring thing to me, uh, and I was writing about this a year ago, uh, is that they are not enforcing economic sanctions on Russia in a way that would make this intolerable to them. They are actually permitting. Russian uh, oil to be exported to India, the Indians uh, refine it and then sell it to Europe as an Indian product. They they, they literally said to Prime Minister Modi when he was here, that's fine, you keep doing that. We want those barrels on the market because we've got to keep energy prices down here at home for our political needs. So all sorts of stuff like that, you could lower the secondary sanctions, which put U.S. sanctions on institutions doing business with Russia, this would get China's attention immediately because they are terrified of that. These are tools that don't involve, you know, spending taxpayer dollars. These are leveraged in the United States fiscal might to make a situation intolerable for an enemy. So they come to the table. Why aren't we doing that? Yeah, great question. Well, if people want more information, uh, you said you've been writing about this. Will they find good resources there at Heritage? They will find great resources here at Heritage. Uh, one of the criticisms that it's actually been quite personally <laughs> irkful to me is that, mm. that that we're doing Ukraine policy by meme. We are we are not. We have a number of long burnt papers that detail our position right. over the last 18 months and op-eds at heritage.org. Uh, I have a, a page on that site. Uh, if it was, uh, if, it, if you search there, and then my Twitter is at Victoria Coates. Well, that sounds great. It's heritage.org. Go there. You can find all the heritage.org. Hey, thank you, Victoria. I really appreciate the the time. Always-